Hello Grade 5, I'm back. I'm your Sir Colin. Ang mukhang iyong kaiinisan, ngunit kapit lang para sa inyong kinabukasan. At this point, we will be discussing the Module 2 of the Week 1 for the first quarter of Mathematics 5. Of course, the Module 2 of your Week 1 is about the visibility rules for 3, 6, and 9. Before we will start, I would like to remind you all to ready this time your Module 2. And of course, have with you always your math notebook, then solving pad, and don't forget also to have with you your ballpen. These are the essential things that you need to have during this course of discussion. If you are now ready with all those items, let us now proceed to our session number one, module number two. To start our lesson for the module 2, I want you to channel your attention to page 2 of your module and uh, we will answer what's in 1 up to 5. So for the what's in, it says here that you have to determine whether the first number is divisible by the second number. Write yes if it is uh, divisible and no if it is not. So. I think this is just easy for you to do that because in our previous lesson, we already discussed the rules for the visibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. So just recall what are the things that we've learned from our previous episode in order for you to answer these items. I will give you time to do this, pause this video, and start with your activity. Ready your notebook for your answers. This time, we will now reveal the answers for your first activity in Module 2. In order for us to determine if 42 is divisible by 2, let us always remember that the divisibility rules for 2, which is the last digit should be 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, or if the number is an even number. In this case, 41 is not an even number because the last digit is 1. Therefore, the correct answer for number 1 is no. For item number 2, 550, is that divisible by 5? Obviously, it is. Because according to the divisibility rules for 5, it should have a digit 5 or 0 in the 1's place or the last digit should be 5 or 0. So that is yes. For item number 3, we have to tell if 1,256 is divisible by 10. A number is only divisible by 10 if it ends with 0. This number ends with 6. Therefore, that is not divisible by 10. 8,910, is that divisible by 10? Obviously, it is because the last digit is 0. So the correct answer is yes. And finally, 348, is that divisible by 2? I think 348 is an even number because the last digit is 8. Therefore, that is divisible by 2. So the answer is yes. How many points did you get correctly? If your score is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0, all you have to do is to write your score at the upper right of your notebook, then over it by 5 because I have given you 5 items to do. Congratulations to those who got 5. To the rest, best of luck next time. I think you are already good in determining if the number is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. But this time, the next question is, do we follow the same rules for 3, 6, and 9? Are we also looking at the last digit in order for us to tell if a number is divisible by 3, 6, or 9? So, I want you to listen very carefully because I will be sharing to you this time the rules for 3, 6, and 9. Get ready. Allow me to share with you this time the divisibility rule for 3. Divisibility rule for 3, if you will try to look at the multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, and so on, of course, we will not follow the rules for 2, 5, and 10 wherein we are looking at the last digit. This time, we have to look for the sum of all its digits. Now, if you will try to get the sum of the digits of the multiple of multiples of 3, 
Uh, we will not take 3, 6, and 9 anymore because they are one-digit numbers. Therefore, the sum of their digit is 3, 6, and 9. However, for 12, we have two digits here, 1 and 2. You get their sum, 1 plus 2, that is 3. For 15, that's 1 and 5. So, the total is, or the sum is 6. The sum of these two digits, 1 and, not, one and 8, is 9. For 21, 2 plus 1, that's 3. For 24, 2 plus 4 is 6. For 27, 2 plus 7, that is 9. And for 30, 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. If you notice, all the sum are all multiples of 3 also. So therefore, if we will try to determine what's the divisibility rule for 3, we get the sum of all these digits. And it's supposed to be the sum is a multiple of 3. So this time, I will give an, an example which is a bigger number. Let's try 540. Is this number divisible by 3 without actual calculation wherein you divide 300 or 540, I mean, by 3? And it will give you a remainder of 0? Do you think? Is this divisible by 3? Now, again, we will get the sum of all its digits. The digits are 5, 4, and 0. If you will add 5 plus 4, that's 9, plus 0, that's 9. 9 is a multiple of 3. 3, 6, 9. Therefore, the whole number 540 is divisible by 3. How about 1,235? Is that divisible by 3? All we have to do once again is to add all the digits. 5 plus 3, that is 8, plus 2, that is equal to 10, plus 1, that's 11. 11 is not a multiple of 3. Therefore, 1,235 is not divisible by 3. Let's try to examine the divisibility rule for 9. Actual divisibility rule for 9 is the same with 3. However, the sum of all its digits should be a multiple of 9 this time. If you will try to look at the multiples of 9, and we will get the sum of their digit that is equal to 9, that's 9, that's 9, that's 9, that's 9. And of course, all of this will give you the sum of 9. However, not only 9. If the sum of the digits is also 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, or a multiple of 9, then the whole number is divisible by 9. Let's try to look at 300. 33. Is that divisible by 9? Of course, you will have to add all the digits 3, 3, and 3, and the answer is 9. Therefore, that is divisible by 9. How about 1,964? Is that divisible by 9? Once again, you have to get the sum of all its digits. 1 plus 9 plus 6 plus 4. So 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 plus 9 that is 19, plus 1 that is 20. However, 20 is not a multiple of 9. Therefore, 1,964 is not divisible by 9. This time, let's try to examine what's the divisibility rule for 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. And how will we know that a number is divisible by 2? So, it should be an even number or a number ending with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. It is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3. So, if you satisfy these two conditions wherein your number is an even number and the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3, then that number is divisible by 6. Another thing that you have to remember is the factor of 6 is 2 times 3 or this is one of the pair of factors of 6. Therefore, it's supposed to be divisible by 2 and also divisible by 3. If a number is both divisible by 2 and 3, then the number is divisible by 6. Let's try to look at this number, 822. Is that divisible by 6 
Let's check first. Is this number divisible by 2? Obviously it is, because it is an even number ending with 2. So, check for 2. Is that also divisible by 3? So we will get the sum of the digits. The sum of 8 plus 2 plus 2. Those are the digits. 8 plus 2, the answer is 10. Plus 2, that's another 12. So therefore, that is divisible by 3 because if you will skip count by 3, 3, 6, 9, 12. 12 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, 822 is divisible by 6. And a question with that. Let's try this time another example. How about 123? Is that divisible by 6? We will have to try it first for divisibility rules of 2 and 3. If that number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then that is also divisible by 6. In this case, this number is not an even number, so that is not divisible by 2. Automatically, this number is not divisible by 6 because all the multiples of 6 should be an even number. However, if I will interchange the digits, such as 3 here, 1 here, and 2 here, the same digits, this time, the last digit is an even number, so that is divisible by 2 this time. But let's try to check if it is divisible by 3. So 3 plus 1, that is 4, plus 2, that is 6. That's also divisible by 3 because 6 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, that number is also divisible by 6. I will interchange another, or I will interchange the digits again, such as 132. Is that divisible by 6? That is an even number, so that is divisible by 2. And the sum of the digits is 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, if it is divisible by both 2 and 3, then that is also divisible by 6. To recap, a number is only divisible by 3 kung ang sum sa tanan-tanan nga digits is a multiple of 3 such as 3, 6, 9, 12, so on and so forth. For 9, we are also following the same rules. Sum man sa mga digits. So, i-add mo lang sa tanan-tanan nga digits. Kag kung ang sabat sa tanan-tanan nga digits is a multiple of 9 such as 9, 18, 27, 36, then that is also divisible by 9. For 6, we need to test if a number is divisible by both 2 and 3. Basta gani divisible sa by 2, such as even sa nga number, ang last nga digit niya is 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0, divisible by 2. And at the same time, ang sum sa tanan niya nga digit is a multiple of 3, then that is also divisible by 6. So, I already shared with you the rules for 3, 6, and 9. I think this would be very helpful to get the common factor which is our the next topic that I will be discussing in this video. Get ready. As we continue my dear grade 5 pupils, let's try to look at the next activity wherein you will get the common factors of 36 and 54. Para makuha nato ng common factors sa 36 and 54, let us always remember what we have learned in our previous episode. We will get the factors of 36. Of course, para makuha nato ng factors sa 36, always remember to get a pair of numbers na kung i-multiply ni mo ang ang is 36. So, let me give you the first one. Always start with 1. So, 1 times 36 is equal to 36. The next one is... Ini nga number is an even number, so that is divisible by 2, so that is 2 times 18. Of course, ang 3 kagang 6, kung i-add ni mo, the answer is 9, divisible by 3. Therefore, pwede ka 3 times 12, which is also equal to 36. Using the rules in the, or I mean, using the divisibility rules, it would be easy for you to determine the factors or all the set of uh, factors sa isa ka number. So, on 36, that is also divisible by 4. So, that is 4 times 9. Kay tungod wala pa nato na discuss ang divisibility rules for 4, we could use the divisibility rules for 9, such as 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. Therefore, that is divisible by 9. 
So, 9, 18, 27, 36. So, that is 9 times 4 or 4 times 9. Another thing is, is there a number still divisible on the indivisible in NC36? Let's try 12. But 12 is already there. So, therefore, we already have the complete set of the factors for 36 and we will arrange that from smallest to biggest or in ascending order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 12, 18, and 36. These are the factors of 36. Let's now proceed to the factors of 54. Of course, the factors of 54, 1 times 54. 54 is an even number, so that is 2 times 27. Let's try to check if this is divisible by 3. So 5 plus 4, that is equal to 9. So that is divisible by 3. So what do you think is the number to be multiplied by 3 to make it 54? That is equal to 18. Next question. Is this divisible by 9? Obviously it is because 5 plus 4, that is equal to 9. So that is 9 times 6, that is 54. No more. So these are the factors of 54. Now we will try to lay down the factors of 54 here in ascending order or increasing order. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54. After you already have the factors of 36 and 54, the next thing that you have to do is encircle their common factors. So, they are common with 1. They are also common with 2. They are also common with 3. Uh, 9 is there. 18 is there. And no more. Therefore, the common factors for 36 and 54 are 1, 2, 3, 9, and 18. Do you have any questions for that? If there's none, let's proceed to our next activity. At this time, I want you to open your module 2, page number 7, for you will be doing the what's more. In your what's more activity, there are 10 items that you need to answer. And the instruction here, identify mentally whether... Uh, whether or not each larger number is divisible by the smaller number. Write yes if the number is divisible and no if it is not. Write your answer on a separate sheet of pad paper. Use your notebook for this activity. I will give you time to answer this. Now pause this video and proceed to your activity. Are you done with your activity? This time, let us try to check your answers. In your activity here, you are asked to answer yes or no only. So, item number one for what's more, it says here, is 213 divisible by 3. If you will try to add 2, 1, and 3, in 213, that will give the sum of 6, and 6 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, our answer for number 1 is yes. For number 2, 519 divisible by 6. 519 is not an even number. Because this is not an even number, then that is not divisible by 2. If a number is not divisible by 2, then that is not also divisible by 6. So the answer is no. For item number 3, 137 divisible by 3. 137, if you will add the digits as to the rules for, the, for 3, so 7 plus 3, that is 10, plus 1, that is 11. 11 is not divisible by 3, so the answer is no. For item number 4, is 504 divisible by 6? 504 this time... It's an even number, so that is divisible by 2. Yes, for 2. But let's try to check if it is also divisible by 3. 5 plus 0 plus 4, that is equal to 9. And 9 is divisible by 3. Because 504 is divisible by both 2 and 3, therefore we could say 
that 504 is yes, divisible by 6. For item number 5, 369, is that divisible by 3? 9 plus 6 plus 3 is equal to 18, and 18 is a multiple of 3. Therefore, yes, that is divisible by 3. Without calculation, or actual calculation I mean, you could easily tell if a number is divisible by 3, by 6, or by 9. So always remember to get the sum of the digits. If it is a multiple of 3, then that is divisible by 3. If it is a multiple of 9, then that is divisible by 9. All numbers divisible by 9 are also divisible by 3. And if a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then that is also divisible by 6. For item number 6, 918, is that divisible by 9? So 918, if you will get the sum of the digits 9 plus 1 plus 8, that's equal to 18. So yes, that is divisible by 9. For number 7, is 718 divisible by 6? That is also an even number, 718. However, if you will add the digits, 7 plus 1 plus 8, that's 16. That's not divisible by 3. So, not divisible by 6. How about number 8? Is 849 divisible by 9? Obviously, no. Because 8 plus 4 plus 9 is not a multiple of 9. Specifically, 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 9 that is equal to 21. 21 is not a multiple of 9. Therefore, the answer is no. For item number 9, is 354 divisible by 6? That is an even number, 354. And the sum of 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 4, that is 12. That's a multiple of 3. Therefore, yes, that is divisible by 6. And finally, is 9,864 divisible by 9? That's yes. Out of the 10 items, how many points did you get? So write your score above 10 to indicate your score for this activity. And with that, congratulations for those who got a score of 8 and above. We are already done with what's more activity. This time, let us wrap up what we have learned in Module 2 for Session 1. This is about the divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9. I want you to open your module on page 5, and we will be answering what I have learned letter A to letter E. Here, in finding the common factors of numbers divisible by 3, 6, and 9, we can use the following divisibility rules. Let us check. Letter A. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by? Of course, 3. If the answer is a multiple of 3, the sum is a multiple of 3, I mean, Therefore, that is also, the whole number is also divisible by 3. For letter B, a number is divisible by blank if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. I repeatedly discussed or shared to you a while ago that if a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then that number is divisible by 6 is the correct answer. For the third blank in letter C, a number is divisible by 9 if the blank of all the digits is divisible or a multiple of 9. What of the digit? The sum. Very good. So the correct answer is sum of the digits. Let's proceed to item or letter D. If the sum of the digits of a number is 153, take note, the sum is already 153. By what number or numbers is or are it divisible with? So, because the, the number is, the sum is too big, all we have to do is to narrow it down. We will have to add again the sum. So, 1 plus 
5 plus 1 that is equal to 6 plus 3 that is equal to 9. So, the number is divisible by? Very good. It is divisible by 9. But wait. Because a number is divisible by 9, it is also divisible by 3. If a number is divisible by 9, that is also divisible by 3. I just want to make it clear. All numbers divisible by 9 is also divisible by 3. But not all. Hindi tanan nga number na pwede mo ma-divide or divisible sa by 3. Divisible man by 9. Let me take this as an example. 6 is divisible by 3 because that's 2 and the remainder is 0. 15 is divisible by 3 because that will give you 5 and the remainder of 0. But 6 and 15 are not divisible by 9. However, all the multiples of 9 such as 18 and 27, they are divisible by 9. The answer is 2 with the remainder of 0. This is also divisible, sorry, this is also divisible by 9. So the answer is 3 with the remainder of 0. And both 18 and 27, divisible man sila by 3. So all the numbers divisible by 9 is also divisible by 3. But not all the numbers divisible by 3, divisible man by 9. Let's take note of that. And finally, the last question is, what smallest three-digit number divisible by 3 and 6? To solve this problem, all we have to do is, we will use the smallest number divisible by 3 and 6, but it should be a 3-digit number. So, we will try 100 because this is the smallest 3-digit number. And we will try to divide it by 6. 100 divided by, by 6, let's check if it is divisible by 6 because we are looking for the smallest 3-digit number. This is a 3-digit number and this is the smallest 3-digit number. So, 10 divided by, by 6 the answer is 1. 1 times 6 is 6. Subtract, the answer is 4. Bring down 0. 40. 40 divided by, by 6. The answer is 6. That's 36. So 40 minus 36, there is a remainder of 4. Therefore, 100 is not divisible by 6. But what should we add to 4 to make it now divisible to 6? We need to add 2 so that it will become 6, which is now divisible by 6. Therefore, we will also add 2 here. So, 100 plus 2, 102. This is the smallest number that is divisible by 6. Now, if a number is divisible by 6, then that is also divisible by 3. That is already enough to answer the question, what is the smallest 3-digit number divisible by both 3 and 6? And the answer is 102. Did I make myself clear this time? For our last activity, before you will proceed to your assessment, which will check if how much have you learned in our lesson for the module 2, I want you to open your module to what I can do. You will answer here the two items, which is item number 1 and item number 2, place in the box. All you have to do is write that in your notebook. For the other activity, which is write your answer in your journal notebook, you could also write that in your math notebook and answer Q1. So for now, I will give you time to answer item number one and item number two. Then after that, I will go back to you. Kindly pause this video and answer the problems in the box. Are you done with your activity? with what I can do? So if you're done, let us now reveal the answers. Allow me to read again the directions for this activity. Use the divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9 to help you solve the following problems. Number 1. Are all numbers divisible by 9 also divisible by 3? I think I already shared to you this one. And the answer for number 1 is yes. Because I told you a while ago, ago, I mean, that all the numbers divisible by 9 is also divisible by 3. So the correct answer is yes. For item number 2, the number of colored pencils in Anna's pencil case is divisible by 3, 6, and 9. 
She has more than 10 but less than 25. How many colored pencils does Anna have? In this problem, we have a limit or we should restrict our answer only from 10 to 25 because it says here that the number of or she has more than 10 but less than 25. Therefore, the possible answers should start with 11 because that's more than 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 because it should not be more or it should be less than 25. So here are the possible answers for item number two. But remember, according to the problem, it should be divisible by three. So what are the numbers divisible by three here? So not 11, but this one is divisible by three, not this one, not this one, divisible by three, not this one, not this one. This is also divisible by three, not this one, not this one. This is divisible by three, not this one, not this one, and this one. So we have here one, two, three, four, five possible answers. Another one, it should be divisible by 9. So when it, it should be divisible by 9, not this one. And of course, not this one. And of course, not this one. And of course, not this one. So we have a remaining number which is 18. Therefore, if a number is divisible by 9, that is also divisible by 3. And at the same time, if this is divisible by 3, and this is also an even number because the last digit is 8. Therefore, that is also divisible by 6. Now, we could conclude that the answer for number 2 is 18. Therefore, Anna has 18 colored pencils. Did you get it correctly? Who got 2 points? Good try! At this time, because we already learned on how to get that divisibility or we already know on how to um, determine if a number is divisible by 3, by 6, and by 9, I think you are now ready to take your exam. The assessment part of your module will be given to you um, as your test for today. So all you have to do is to write your answer in your intermediate pad and that will be included to the uh, modules that you will be sending back to our school. So, kindly submit your intermediate pad with your Module 1 assessment and Module 2 assessment on October 9. Thank you so much for staying with me. See you next week for more episode of our recorded video lesson. Thank you so much. Grade 5 of Crescenti P. Chavez Central School. So again, we are done with our lesson one for session one, module one and two. And this time, I would like to remind you of our gentle reminders. For October 9, 2020, that is the retrieval of the modules. And at the same time, this is the time wherein I will collect your assessment paper for module one and two. Also, kindly send your USB for the rec recorded lesson. For October 12, 2020, that is the distribution of the modules for week 2. At the same time, this is the time that I will give you back your USB with the lesson 2 or session 2 uh, recorded video lesson. So don't forget all those reminders. I'll see you next time for our next recorded video lesson. I am your teacher in mathematics, Sir Colin G. Salis. Pagtiisa ng mukha para sa future ng bata.